Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and or improve your own landscape light. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can see videos like this in the future. So this install is a backyard install where the customer had put a retaining wall and a lot of dirt so he could plant several trees and then has a little step area in the middle that we're gonna light up. And then here's Isaac starting to trench we're putting the wire by the retaining wall so that it can be out of the way. The customer also wants to have four fence lights installed, two on each side, so that it can add more light instead of just having everything focused in the back. With that being said, here's the intro. Now before I jump into the video, if you are looking into installing your own landscape lighting, then click any one of my videos in the description below. I have three options that can help you out. The first option is a free PDF that goes over the fundamentals of landscape lighting. The second option is a PDF that goes over all the fixtures, bulbs, and transformers I recommend. And the third option is a complete start to finish course that goes over everything about landscape lighting installation. I've been able to help out a lot of people go through this course and successfully install their lighting with most people not having any prior experience. With that said, I'm gonna jump right into the video. So we've already trenched everything and it didn't take us very long because it was just this long run in the grass and then moving some soft dirt. And here we are running the wire. So. I did a little bit and then here's Isaac running the wire to the very back corner of the property. And there's a lot of different ways how to put the wire into the, the dirt, but we have found that if you use a tool like this, it just makes it a lot easier. You can stand up and you don't have to use your fingers and get them really dirty. And make sure when you're running your wire that if you have the lights already placed in the, an area that you would want them to be in, that you don't forget to leave a little extra room for wire for that. So we made it to the middle part with the steps and it's kind of a tight space, but if you move the dirt, normally you can get around these rocks and watch out. So as always, you gotta be careful for the irrigation system. So he's got a, a PVC pipe here that we're gonna be very careful when trenching and running the wire so that way we don't bust it because sometimes it will happen. I wanted to make sure that I added a part of this video where I showed you how to wire up a light. Now that's a question that a lot of people have had and I've put that in several of my other videos. But here we are wiring up the light. And so Isaac is wiring up this light and he is twisting the wires just to make it so it's a little easier to work with because if they're fraying everywhere then sometimes it's just harder to fold and twist and put the, the wireproof the waterproof connections on. So now what he's doing is he's folding it in half. This is the, one of the ways we teach. And, he, and then he's twisting the wires together. And when you fold it in half like that, it makes it so the wires stay in place. If you just twist it, it will eventually come apart. So now we're gonna be working on the fence lights. So here Isaac is screwing it on. So there's two screws that go upwards and then um, and make sure before you even start to drill a hole and get the wire from the back side to the either the top of the fence or behind the fence but here he is just screwing it on to secure it on the fence all right just to show you what i was talking about so here we had put the wire and um, it's on the other side and then you just use wire nuts to connect it to the wire and then you run a main line on the the fence so here it is and we use staples to secure it to the fence and then that's where the next light is going to go. So here Isaac is drilling a hole for the bottom screw and then the top screw where the anchor and screw is going to secure the transformer and make sure you put both that way that the transformer doesn't um, move or fall off the wall and if you prefer to have the light mounted on the brick use a hammer drill for that. And the last piece that I show is securing the transformer onto the wall and tightening up those screws so it's it's really tight and again so it won't fall off the wall. And there's the top and the bottom. So here's what it looks like at night. The customer had sent these pictures to me 
the customer absolutely loved it it turned out really well you have the trees that are lit up very nicely and then the fence lights and then that center fence light on the steps where the customer is wanting to put like an arch and vines so it just it looks really nice the way it lit up Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you really are interested in getting help with your landscape lighting project, I'm just gonna go briefly over what this course entails. So I have a welcome page, and I have found that after helping a lot of people that most people install their lighting in about four weekends, so about a month. So I've split it up into different sections that you can do it, and you can go as fast or slow as you want. So the first section goes over the fundamentals of landscape lighting, and then there's the design, your home, which a lot of people need help with this, and there are a lot of really good resources in this section. Then this section goes over what lights to buy and where to get them. And then how to go through all the obstacles that you'll face when trenching and then finally finishing up your landscape lighting. And down here, there are some extra design tips if you need more help. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you need help, I've got an affordable option for you. And as always, best of luck with your landscape lighting project and I will see you in the next video. Bye.